Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 119. So today's episode, guys, I want to show you six ways to customize the Windows 8 start screen. So what is the start screen? So I'm basically going to show you right here what's the start screen. I'm going to put my mouse to the corner so I get the charm. Again, the charm bar. And I'm going to go to the starts, uh, start. So this is what the start screen is now for Windows 8, believe it or not. So I'm going to, change, I'm going to show you how to change the background in the color. By default, when you first install Windows 8, it, 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 it asks you what color you scheme that you want. Um, but let's say you don't want that color anymore. You want to change the background and do some customization. So the way to do this is from the start screen, you're going to try to bring up the charm back, click on settings, click on change PCs, and bam, you got the personalized section that you want. Uh, most likely, you want the start screen. By default, it goes here. You can also change the lock screen as you want, and let's go to the start screens because that's what I want. And let's uh, let's pick some crazy looking design. Let's pick this one because it's all about the gears and stuff. And I'm gonna change it to. Ooh, that's a crazy color. Uh, how about we change it to this color? That color looks pretty pretty okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it to that color because I kind of like that blue color. And that's that's about it. That's basically how you change the background and the color within your start screen. Now, uh, the another another customization is resize tiles. Now, what do you mean resize tiles? So, resize tiles, as you can see in the start menu, uh, you have a bunch of them that are kind of large, and some of them are small. But let's say you want the male version to be small. So if you right click on it, you get a nice little option at the bottom and it says small. Click on small and what you're going to get, you're going to get it small. Uh, best thing about this is you can actually customize, hit small, and everything will automatically go to adjust to itself. Uh, to bring it large again, just right click on it and just click on large and it will make it large. Okay, Really simple. Now, the next feature to customize your start screen on Windows 8 is... Enable and disable live tiles. Now, what I what do I mean about live tiles? Now, if you've been paying attention to the screen, and hopefully you guys are paying attention to the screen, as you can see the weather, and uh, I got the market finance department right here. I got Bing over here constantly updating itself and moving around. Now, believe it or not, that will take some process, um, memory. You probably your computers might add a little slow depending on your your specs. So if you want to disable that, you can actually right click on it. And again, right in the bottom, this is like the, the most important thing with Windows 8. Every time you right click on something on the start screen, a little taskbar always has different options. One of the options for the live thing is to turn it off. So if you turn it off, it won't update itself anymore. So I'm I'm trying to leave it on because I do like that feature. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Now the next tip is organize tiles into groups. What do I mean about organize tiles into groups? Now, believe it or not, this whole section right here is broken down into groups. But let's say you have specific things that you want that you use all the time. Let's say like the office or certain programs like Adobe and anything like with Illustrator and stuff like that. For example, let's say I want games. I use games all the time, so I'm going to drag it and drop it here. I'm creating a group, believe it or not. I love music, so I'm actually going to put it music with my games. I do listen all the time together. Now, you can actually name the group. Now, to do that, if you right click, and I believe, I'm trying to remember, trying to remember, trying to remember. Wait, okay, so, I mean, let me get out of this. Nope, let me go back into the scar screen. And right here on the, on the toolbar, there's a minus. It's kind of faded out. You probably won't see it a lot. If you hit that minus bar, it's going to zoom everything out, and you basically are able to highlight your groups. Now, this entire thing right here on the side, what I'm highlighting right now is a group. This is a group. This is a group. Now, if you right-click on it, you're going to say name group. Give that group a name, and hey, you already created your group with certain things that you use all the time. Awesome, right? Cool. So, the next thing is is create desktop application launcher. Now, oh, cool. I don't need that. So, believe it or not, you can actually unpin all this garbage from your start menu, Just, but you have to do it one by one. You right-click on it and unpin it. 
if you are a person that just um, enjoys having your start screen with a bunch of application like you've seen in the past on Windows 7, Vista, XP, if you hit that start menu, you basically see all the applications that you use all the time. Right here, you really don't see that. But if you do want that, you can actually right click anywhere, any any tile, go to all apps, and then from here, let's say I want Notepad. My Notepad is something that I constantly use all the time, and I want to pin it to the start. Okay, and then we're gonna go back into the start. And right here, I have Notepad. So I'm gonna move these guys over here back to where it was at, and there you go. I can actually remove all these tiles right here and just add all my programs that I like to launch automatically. You click on it and you launch it. So you customize in your start screen the way you want to 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 work. You know, you the way that you want it to look and feel and work for you. Cool? Now, last thing which I believe is pretty cool is pin folders and websites. Believe it or not, you can actually pin folders and websites. So I'm gonna actually go into my desktop. So I'm going to click on desktop and I created a folder right here. Now, believe it or not, right click on Windows 7, it used to give you an option to pin to the menu or pin to the taskbar. So I'm going to pin to the start. So what that does is I'm going to put my mouse over here on the side and I'm going to hit start. And believe it or not, your start menu has your folder. So you can actually click inside your folder, shortcut, launch, bam, good to go. Now, believe it or not, you can actually add websites into your start menu, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to actually go inside my YouTube channel. I know I'm going to my YouTube channel. And I can actually add my YouTube channel as a start. I can add it to my start stream. So I'm going to actually, the way that you do it is you go to the Sprocket. And believe it or not, there's a new feature within the Sprocket, within, uh, within Internet Explorer. I think it's 10 or 9. I'm not too sure. Um, add to the site to the screen. And that's it. And you give it whatever the name is from, blah, add it, good to go, close it, and close it, close it, and I'm going to go back into my start screen, and hit start, and I'm going to scroll, and there you go, boom, my sh shortcut is over there, it's right there in the start screen, you can actually click on it, and you're good to go, okay? So, those are like uh, six ways that I know that you could customize your Windows 8 start screen, and hopefully this was... Um, informative to get you guys if you guys have other tips that you want to shoot to me I can actually put that into a video and you know knowledge is power let's uh, let's all get together share the knowledge let's distribute this to everybody that so they can be ready for Windows 8 because that's gonna be the latest thing that's coming out so hopefully you guys enjoy the video please leave comments below at the very top there is a subscribe button hit that subscribe button if you guys want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and also don't forget about gaming I catch you guys later and thank you so much